Hello everybody. Welcome to the Backford YouTube channel. I'm AJ. Super excited to have you here. And we have our boy Nirav who just came back from his travels. Nehal who I hope doesn't mention Kobe Mainu on this pod and said who is still salty about Liverpool who got the easiest draw in the Europa League. How is it going boys? Excited? What do you mean you're sad about better, Liverpool? Bro. Liverpool having an easy draw. What did you expect? It's a Europa League. Why are you looking at Liverpool's Europa League draw first? <laughs> bro, Sid is looking at you. Sid, we, we had a live recording. So Sid did. Sid was so so sad at 7 a.m. I in the only morning. care about FA Cup draws from now, bro. <laughs> so you wanted oh, them no. to. That, that that incident definitely happened before the FA Cup. So Sid didn't even have hopes for the <laughs> fixture. This proves. Suddenly, it. I have so much life in me. I I feel like regurgitated completely. <laughs> It's okay, bro. I'm here to take, take it out of you. Let's jump into yeah. it. Okay. So today, today we are having a fun video, uh, managerial merry-go-round, with so many top managers on the move in the summer. I thought, why not ask our boys, uh, what do they think? Where some of those top managers would end up at? So here's how it'll work. I'll tell, I'll say a name, and then you mm. guys have to pick a team and just justify mm. quickly in where do you think they'll go. And if you guys can't come to a consensus, then I'll just pick whatever is the best option. All right. There quick is. So, question. Quick question. So this is what yeah. we think they're gonna go to, or what we want them, where you we want, want them to. Where you want. Where, okay. Yeah, where you want them. Yeah. Two very, very them. different things. I don't agree. Yeah. Totally agree. Okay. Totally agree. So okay. where you want them to go to? What? Where I you... want will be completely irrational, bro. Yeah, it yeah. has to be. It has to be like your most yeah. biased. Okay. Stuff. Let's. Yeah. Let's say a let's mix of where we think he'll go and where okay. we want. Let's a mix. Okay. Okay, so the first one, I think obvious name, the hottest commodity on the market, Xavi Alonso. What do you think, Nehal? Liverpool. <sighs> yeah, Sid beat me to it. I think it's <laughs> Sid, not a buzzer beater, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I, Liverpool might be the obvious solution. But let's think about it. Like, let's break it down. Nirav, do you think they'll win the uh, Bundesliga? Hundred percent. That's so he might want to stay there for another season, like. I mean, Zabi Alonso is very young into his like uh, managerial career, so I don't know if he'll be like wanting as it be will be as excited to go to Liverpool at this point. But it's also like Liverpool, like succeeding club, so there might be a lot more pressure on him. Um, you know, to succeed, like club's legacy is going to be hard, and this league still has Pep and Arteta, hmm. so it's not an easy league to win. So there's a lot yeah. of things to like. Uh, for him personally, so <laughs> I'm Liverpool. with I'm with SNT actually at this side. I feel like he's gonna stay too because Liverpool right now team isn't like something extraordinary, right? Like so, it's competing with Pep is definitely gonna stay. I think Jabi would probably want Pep to go like first, and I think there's one more season Pep is gonna stay. So uh, and I I don't know if it's his squad yet. You know, Xabi Alonso scored like because he's JDB coach and Liverpool has drug addicts and like <laughs> just like guys on steroids, just like total clop heavy metal players. Um, but I mean, it could happen. But I, if I had to put my money, I think he stays in Leverkusen one more year. So no shouts for. Uh, he's going to Bayern. Liverpool. Yeah. No shouts for Bayern. Bayern is. Yeah. I, I mean, they will try. They can try, but I don't think so. Okay. I don't see Bayern, Zabi Alonso Bayern as a guy. Bayern will be such a like easy think, move, dude. Zabi yeah. is like an established player. Like you know, yeah. hmm. you don't want to. But take he, that you know, he played for them. He played for them. That's so there is a little bit. Yeah. But he played for Liverpool as well, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah. But so maybe. I mean, the, the, no. The or, thing is, like, if if Xabi Alonso wins with Leverkusen, I'm I'm pretty sure, like, even he recognizes that they will not win the Champions League with Leverkusen, like. It's hmm. very. It's a very long shot to ever win the yeah. Champions League. So what next? Like you win the league, then what? It's unlikely you will beat Bayern again next In, year. Maybe you do why it. Not? Like what? I think you can. I think that would be a it, bigger. Right? I think that will be a but bigger achievement than anything. And the thing is, like Liverpool are looking for a manager right now, hmm. and if he doesn't go, the bus will be missed for the next three or four hmm. years. Because Liverpool yeah, are yeah. an established club. They have an infrastructure. Hmm. They want hmm. a manager who stays long term. Hmm. So this is the only time Xabi Alonso has to move. So if he wins the Bundesliga, it's the perfect time. He will get the true fairy tale, not Klopp, and then he'll go to Liverpool. Fair. That's what I fair. think. But yeah, fair. 
I think great, great, great arguments. I mean, clearly two of us are uh, in in the board of him staying. So, Zabi Alonso stays at Leverkusen next season. That's what our verdict is. Before we continue further, if you're enjoying the content, please leave a comment and tell us your favorite part of the video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. We have loads of such things lined up, and we're excited to share it with you. Hmm. Moving on from one Zabi to one Zabi. Where do you think hmm. Zavi Hernandez will be? Barcelona is quitting hmm. early. I mean, he announced his departure. All the clubs would be vying for one him. Year, one year break right. from the Barca trauma. Yeah. In my opinion. <laughs> Xavi <laughs> deserves think, that, bro. Do you think it was hmm. that traumatic? I think he's. I think he's just done with with life. He just wants to go on a beach and chill for a bit. Yeah. I think everything depends on outcomes. I feel like if he manages to win the Champions League somehow. Uh, I feel I mean, like Barca go a, all out of the way to keep it's him. It's a possibility, right? They have an easier draw, like hmm. Hmm. path to the final, and you know anything yeah. can happen in the final. So, yeah, if uh, if he it's wins, a tough one, like, if he wins, or even if he gets to the final, I have a feeling that they might be able to convince him. He's a legend of the club. They might be um, able to be like, okay, we'll work with you. Um, and, but and I, I don't see him changing clubs right now. It'll help them yeah, financially too, right? Like if they win the Champions League, I think it might help with their overall mm. situation, and a lot more like younger players might come. So, yeah, either he stays in Barca or like I think he just is done for a while. Like yeah. he's Zidane type, he'll just Zidane go type, yeah. or maybe so, yeah. he'll manage change someday. You know, like you never know. Do you guys not think that there is an element of club pushing him in out, pushing him out, rather than just him wanting to leave? Um, I don't. I, think I mean, I did articles, see like reports. Ahead. I did see reports where like Xavi was heavily under pressure and scrutiny from like the management at Barca, and it did make sense because like it came after, right after Klopp's decision, and Barca weren't like doing that well. And yeah, I mean, if if they win the Champions League, like good for him, but I don't think he will still continue at Barca. Like I don't think anybody deserves to be in this situation at Barcelona because they're going through a lot of shit, both yeah. financially as well as on the pitch, and. Xavi being the legend I mean he took it took one for the team literally and I think he should be given a break he deserves a break rather right? so. so Xavi basically Xavi winning Xavi. the Champions League and then going on a on a break I have a curveball if uh, hmm. if Luis de la Fuente the Spanish uh, manager fails in the Euros like badly I can see maybe oh, Xavi do a year there Oh nice maybe. nice shot hmm. So basically 2026 US World Cup Xavi as the manager. No, just the just the Euros, bro. That's it. Probably. <laughs> oh, you're talking about in the Euros? Yeah. Like, oh yeah. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. No, like after World the Euros. Yeah. yeah. After the Euros. Yeah. Not till yeah, then. Yeah, after the Euros. Yeah. Cool. Let's see how that holds. Next one, I think Nidhav's favorite, uh, knockout specialist, Thomas Tuchel. Where do you Man think he will go? Man United, Manchester United Football Club. Thomas Tuchel, the perfect Eric partnership. <laughs> the perfect partnership. The, the guy to take Ten Hag and, and Thomas Tuchel in the same line. I think that's just the not... guy to take Man United yeah. to the top again. Hey, I'm Tommy. Nah, bro. Tactical Tommy. Nah, bro. <laughs> no way. Okay, sure. So sure. You don't, you don't want nobody. Man. No new manager is coming to Manchester United. Mm. Mm. That's what I think. We'll keep that for later. Yeah. We'll keep that for later. I have a small segment on that. But I don't think. I don't think Jim Radcliffe. He'll go to Chelsea, bro. Chelsea. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. I don't think Jim Ratcliffe has uh, ha- had such a successful business career by uh, not using his brains. I think he does use his brains this time. He's a football man. I mean, he's. I okay, wonder. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll yeah. get there. He's but not like, going to base Chelsea. everything out of a four-three win against Liverpool. I'm so sorry. <laughs> vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the vibes. Dude, I'm, sure old, vibes bro. I'm sure Old Trafford was bouncing, but I'm sorry, bro. Like this is like the te- whole tenure has been a failure from Ten Hag. So mm-hmm. I think it okay, changes. Let's, let's let's hold on. Let's hold on on Ten Hag mm-hmm. for now. Mm-hmm. But say Chelsea. Are you serious or you just said it? Yeah, yeah. No, I think. I mean, I uh, that's not gonna happen. See, uh, I I don't. I mean, that's what I want to happen. So. Mm-hmm. Um, See, like Tuchel knows Chelsea very well. He knows how to work in the Premier League, and I did see reports that he's open for a move to England. Hmm. And if to- the only thing that matters is if Todd Bowley can admit that he made a mistake, like Abramovich did with Mourinho and got him back, 
because that's the Chelsea tradition also, right? Bring back. But he's an American, bro. He's an American. Yeah. That's not happening. Russian and American, you never know where the similarities lie, right? Todd Bowley <laughs> looks like he has an ego. <laughs> yeah, he does. But hmm. I mean, he has Premier League experience. He knows how to work at work with difficult people, and he knows how to work with young players. So, like Chelsea squad is full of young players, hmm. and I think hmm. it might fit. It might give him like a second shot at proving himself at Chelsea. Hmm. So, hmm. it's kind of interesting that way. Mihal, Mihal, which boat are you in? United I, or Chelsea? I have a, I have to see, I have a theory. Entertain my crazy. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think. We're all neglecting Newcastle. They need a new manager. Mm. Eddie Howe is out. Like this is out the door, right? Mm. And Tuchel is expensive. He costs like eight to nine million a year, mm. right? And I think it's a perfect fit. I think he's gonna like he's gonna be there in the market until these big clubs figure it out. Mm. And I think Newcastle is gonna come and snag him. I see a world where he comes to United, but. <laughs> like I think United are acting so much on vibes that it's going to be. I think uh, we'll we'll get to that. You know, we'll talk about like mm. uh, you know how what the business decision is and mm. like what it might play out. But for now, I'm going to stick with Newcastle. Newcastle fan. Show. I have I have another. I, I had another one. Ones. Yeah, bro. <laughs> no, 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 I, I had another one for my club. But I love the shout. I would take Antonio Conte in my club. Like I had another one in my mind, which I would be like a blockbuster signing. We'll, You're we'll talking about my club as in Newcastle. Yeah, yeah Newcastle. Okay, okay sure. <laughs> Such AJ, a good time for you to change. Such a good time for you to change, bro. I'm happy. Go, AJ go. Change managers or jerseys? <laughs> Imagine. If you, if you so were much sadness, the... and when we are finally about to do something, he leaves. Amazing. When you're, if you were to switch to oil money, then it, there's no better time to do it with the richest nation, probably richest oil nation. This is uh, he, this is the equivalent of that crypto guy who sold ten thousand bitcoins for us for a pizza. If you've seen that, <laughs> this is literally the equivalent getting, of that. Getting, getting getting my Arsenal jersey back for the next. Mm. <laughs> That's the end of the segment. Comment below. Let us know what you think. Where these managers will end up. 